quarterback, force the young quarterback to try and beat you from the pocket. Second half kickoff taken short inside the 15 yard line. Patrick DeMarco, the fullback, up across the 35 yard line. I always, I always accentuate fullback. Losses, loses 20 to 26 to Green Bay, 21 to 24 to Detroit. Of course, 21 24 last week at Atlanta. They have not given up the fight, and if they got to play the role of spoiler, that's exactly what they're willing to do. Short kickoff taken at the 10 yard line. Brian Cox Jr. on the return. Been up maybe four or five big plays. Outside of that, they have smothered opposing offenses. To come out and start the game like this against this defense, pretty impressive. A low kick fielded by Ethan Posick. Nice little run by the big fella getting it out just across the 25. Every receiver, isn't it? Not everyone, but the guy pretty much. I mean, I told, I told Witten, I was like, if you're always open, then I'm never going to actually think that you're ever open when you, when you tell me. You actually are. So that ball scooped up and returned out to about the 28 by David Mayo. And the one year 27 touchdowns, two interceptions, and then he's on the bench. Then he got Wentz getting hurt. Foles those four touchdown passes last week. It's Fackrell running it back. Blair Walsh kicks off. Another bouncer down the field, fielded cleanly this time by the Falcons and Ben Garland. Went sliding down at the 31-yard line. One pick in the draft for an absolute reason. The kid is a stud. Let's see what he does when he gets on the field here. Kickoff coming down, knocked down, and picked up quickly by David Bass, the linebacker, on the line drive kickoff. The Jets have to overcome a little bit larger of a deficit. Tavecchio kicks it off on the bounce, taken to the 20-yard line, and Jordan Jenkins, one of the up men, with a return, but a penalty marker thrown back in left. He'll just swim it along the ground, and it's picked up by one of the up men, who will just take a knee. Looked like he had never done that before. <laughs> yeah. Well, do it no matter what uniform he's wearing. But they're really happy to have him. He had five for 96 last year with, with Chicago. Ellie with a little pooch kick, and the Bears will take a knee, so they'll have one more play if they want it. To about the 38 yard line or so of Indianapolis. It's a bouncing kickoff, juggled, fielded at the 24, and run back to the 32 by Austin Blythe, a rookie out of Iowa, who had no idea what was coming his way at that point. He's a lineman. Kickoff will be taken at the 20 by Mark Hurslick. Down to three seconds play that was going to be right in the red zone and that's where they had the penalty to back them up five yards a little pop-up kick to try to keep it out of the hands of Lockett and his return oh. to the 36 yard line by the fullback will Tukuafu Colts torched on the last three possessions that's a line drive fielded at the 17 yard line and brought back to the 32 yard line to pay this, but the Ravens have been playing soft coverage and forcing him to throw underneath. This one taken short at about the 20-yard line and brought back by Zadarius Smith. This is Antonio Brown, who made the 59-yard reception leading to the D'Angelo Williams score. And this kick is taken by the up back. And it's brought Trafford and all the rest. I know who the new managers are over there. I'm impressed. Not quite, but I read the card really well. <laughs> and the kickoff is brought back to the 37. In his own right. Mark build up his big brother. And on his birthday, 36th birthday, Carson Palmer is turning in another great game. It's because a lot of the, the folks on the other side of the camera you really don't get to know. But I mean, whether it's coaches or players all around the league, they all want to know how is Bob Stenner doing? He's had a rough year. I know you, I know you did. Love that show. And it'll be picked up by one of the offensive linemen for Miami, Nate Gardner, who got it short. He turns it 12. Seven seconds to play. Oh, coughed it up inside the one. Santos kicks it off. And a roller picked up by the up man at the 19-yard line. Terry Williams brought down at the 30. That's where San Diego. Hey, he used to set oh, yeah. people up with the up and under. 
He was amazing. He was one of the best I've ever seen on the punt rush. Tucker bounces this one onto the turf, and it's picked up by one of the up men, Tyson Alu Alu. After next season. Can we get that open by the second half? <laughs> <laughs> this is great football weather. You never played it weather this cold, but that's what these teams are doing. A short kick and up to the 25, the Panthers, Brian Fulkerts with the return. This Dallas Cowboys team is a team to be reckoned with in these playoffs. Meanwhile, short kick is going to be taken by the up man there for Washington. And now the question. And now a bouncing ball is grabbed at the 30 yard line. And that's Aaron Lynch involved in a few plays tonight. The block punt was still five minutes to go in the first half. Short kickoff. He handled at the 18 yard line by Tim Barnes. Situation that they'll deal with at the appropriate time. A team Jordan fields the ground ball kickoff. He's brought down at the 35 yard line with 14 seconds remaining. Giants taking a a little uh, bet on myself. Look at this squid kick. Fumbled around and picked up by Wilbur, who's hit right away by Christian Jones. Houston Texans to come all the way back and win that game 31-28. Kickoff scooped up at the 22-yard line. And taken back by Marcus Kuhn. He's a halftime coming up in a matter of minutes. And fielded at the 30 by DeMontre Moore. And time will run out. Justin Tucker will put it on the ground. Caught at the 25-yard line by Cameron Hayward. And his dad, <laughs> he looked like Iron Head there, yeah. didn't he? Those uh, great teeth of John Elway and that big smile. Was, uh, said it must be a joy to watch that. And he said, absolutely. And it's a short kick as they try to keep it from Holiday and brought back to the 24-yard line. Nugent, an original draft choice by the Jets. And this one goes short. And you see the subsequent run by Troy Davis. And the clock at nine seconds. Goodwin is back. The rookie out of Texas. Very fast. He was an Olympian. And here is a kick which is going to go short. And so they're going to bring it down right there. And it goes to a defensive lineman. And that is Jay Ross out of East Carolina. They want to keep it away from Goodwin. I'd much rather have him have the ball than Goodwin. I can tell you that. And Terrence Williams, too. Two young guys playing great. Kick comes up short. They keep it away from Holiday. They don't. Get it in his hands, and that is Jackson. Both teams when they got into it. This is a very short kick, fielded at the 21-yard line. Hold on. And this is Adam Geddes, who is a backup center, so the chances of a good, well, who knows? We saw Conley that night in New England. Still the greatest play we've ever had on Sunday night. Soul, a rookie offensive lineman. What was he thinking? <laughs> I, that may be the question posed to him when he goes to the sideline. <laughs> the Freeman owns. Amani Edwards watches it bounce short up at the 20 yard line. The up man picks it up and rolling forward with a pretty decent return at the 29 yard line is Siani Fua, and then a flag comes. Picked up at the 25 by a lineman. Not totally buckled up yet, but he's halfway there. Short kick. Picked up at the 30-yard line and out to the 35 by Will Witherspoon. Medlock dribbles this one. Clock will start right now as it's touched. That's Junior Gallette. The big alignment doesn't get much. 